welcome or welcome back. So for today's lesson, I decided to make two videos, record two videos. One short one for my experienced students or patrons, just a bare bones instruction. That's the next video. This video, in this video, I will furnish you with my experience lead you through the movement sequence in detail a more relaxed experience so please we start on the front side we start in a prone position lying on the belly so while i still talk please come to rest um, preferably on a hard floor or a firm mat Uh, to lie on, on the belly with your hands on top of each other. The right hand on top of your left hand and your forehead on top of your, the back side of your right hand and the legs slightly spread and extended. So you see, I explain the starting position. I, I try to lay it out and um, at the moment I'm not doing the movements. So the first movement so I explained the starting position and the first movement would be to lift your head together with your right hand and your right elbow and your right shoulder. So you lift up this con con concoction, concoction, this um, little package of your hand. So, but what if, if you, what if you didn't catch what I say? Maybe I was not clear enough or maybe, maybe I was too fast, something something missing and, and so you would have to look at me or, uh, or look at your peers and that's uh, you copy what you see and then you try to find integrate uh, visual information you try to put into a movement and here we have a auditory information because it's just talking and that's different maybe it runs deeper um, but maybe it was just different such a long time ago and now in this visual world where the visual cortex is i don't know more engaged more active maybe it's easier to get visual information but i still think that audio like music uh, voice speech runs very deep uh, with us humans and thus having to translate a verbal instructions into a movement, I think is a very direct pathway into our psyche, into our soma, into the whole of our being, including all our experience we had so far in life. Am I taking this too far? Am I talking too much? Okay, I, I will come down to the floor together with you and we will continue together with this movement sequence. So I choose the hard floor because I lately, as of lately, I'm interested <clears throat> more in the hard floor. I'm interested in becoming softer myself and working with this direct feedback device, you could say. It, the hard floor informs me of, any, of anything that's not smooth or not round or not well organized. So. Are you still lifting your head? So the position I'm talking about would look like this. The right hand on top of the left hand and the forehead on top of the right hand. And then the instruction was to lift the head. So there needs to be a basic tension. We cannot be too soft or too relaxed in order to do this. There needs to be a tension throughout the body in, in order to be able to do that. And there should be a movement in the in the in the upper body in the neck when you lift your head make sure your neck doesn't stiffen or tensen ten doesn't but that you find length maybe change your hands and put your left hand on top of your right hand and then lift your head and your left hand together and your left elbow of course and your left shoulder and find length so that's it is a bit difficult and this lesson will help you with that <clears throat> because in our society we need to be stable we need to be able to sit for hours and 
does stiffen up some parts of the chest which enables us to balance the head for, for hours on end, day after day, week, like year in, year out. But when we suddenly should find movement, we need... And that's why I take the liberty to talk so much because we, we need to... We need some time to find the movement. And after every lift of your head, maybe rest and then start a new movement. And when you have done this a couple of times so far, you will notice it's not just up and down, but there, it can be like a little swing, but it's not a swing with momentum, but it's just the pathway of a swing, uh, a, a curve a curve up, maybe your eyes, maybe you move your eyes first. If you already have done my Getting Better Day by Day series, you know the eyes can direct the movement of the whole body. It's the, the, the body follows. You can play that in the dark, actually, in a dark room to, to look and let your body follow. Because in a dark room or with your eyes blindfolded. And it's a different if you close your eyes or if you blindfold your eyes and you have your eyes still open. So that's, these are, there's differences. And it's, I find it so interesting to ex explore this. And some people would call these details, like small things, but in fact, and like a backflip is a big thing, but these small things are the things we have available and are part of our lives, like all the time. <laughs> Let's move the movement to the legs. Be in the same position with your head, forehead resting on your hands. So which hand do you choose to be up? Do you choose your right hand or left hand to be on top? And does it even make a difference? And then think of your right leg, bring your attention to your right leg. And I find this so fascinating that you can shift your attention in your body. Like think of your right heel and then, yes, Think like now, think of your right heel, feel your right heel, see if there is a socks or barefoot, do you feel your right heel and then move your attention to your right knee and move your attention to your right hip joint, pelvis, move your attention to your right shoulder. So you focus on your right shoulder and you try to gather information, sensory information from your right shoulder and then move your attention back down to your right foot. And that's so interesting how we can shift attention in the body as if it was a spotlight or some sort of, of thing that we can move around in our body. So bring your lie prone on your belly with your head on your hands and Bring your attention to your right leg and start to lift your right leg. So you lift your right foot and you lift your right knee and you can bend your knee if that makes sense and you lift your leg up and then you bring your leg down again and I will join you in this movement. And then shift your attention to your left leg and start to lift your left leg. Uh, so you lift your left foot and you lift your left knee and maybe you lift even your left hip joint a little bit. So the whole thing lifts. And if you're, if you're already experienced, if you have done a lot of lessons, if, like, if you have stayed with me for a couple of years and you've done a lot of lessons on my channel and a lot of lessons with other practitioners, uh, Feldenkrais practitioners, um, so if you lift your right leg, you might 
have your left hand on top and when you lift your left leg you might have your right hand on, do- on top because that's just uh, organization that makes sense in this kind of lesson and this is an extension lesson and <clears throat> let's continue and the next step is to bring your attention back up to your hands and please lift your both hands and both elbows and the shoulders together with your hand so the whole package lift up from the floor and again it might not be a straight up but it's a little curve Uh, so do this and I will join you with this and please Shift your attention to your legs again, bend both knees and a little, you don't need to bend them like to 90 degrees, but bend them a little while lifting. So this time lift both knees, both legs off the floor and back again. So we still have up and down like arms and legs, we still split in the middle and we will change that in a second but for now it's the legs that are lifting so lift both legs and in order to make to play with that, to break habits in order to break habits, in order to uh, introduce a possibility for doing something completely new, something you have never thought about, something that's surprising and something that's like, how can we do something that we didn't even know? Like that, that's the detail work. So lift your right knee first, but keep your right knee lifted and join in with your left knee. And then bring the right knee down and bring the left knee down. So you lift your right knee and then the left knee and then down again. And then, and then again, and then again, lift both together and see if both together became uh, more clear, more easy, if, if that became any better because of this asymmetric lifting variation. All right, and then take a break, but take a break on your back. Please come to lie on your back and take a rest. Resting, we call it, uh, so we, who is we, could be called a supine position. Maybe I could move this over here. Huh? And rest on your back for a bit and just feel how that feels like. And now as the next movement, mm-hmm. We need to get to the chest, we need to get to the upper part of the chest, the, the bit that doesn't move so, so willingly and that might hurt because it's overworked and because the muscles are always working and then they became numb and then at some point they started to hurt and we want them to let go and uh, to allow the extension movement. So uh, how to do this? Uh, one of the ways to do this, to invite them to move in a better organized way, please stand both feet, so the feet are standing but you're still lying on your back, the feet are standing, the knees are pointing towards the ceiling and stand your feet in a way that they're really standing. So the feet stand, stand the feet, that the feet are standing. Don't put them in a position where you have to really hold them, but put them in a position where the feet are standing. And then Please lift your pelvis. This is like a, if you do yoga or gymnastics, that's like a glute bridge. So you could engage your glutes to lift your pelvis. And then 
your arms are extended, relaxed and extended and with the left hand with the left hand reach for your left heel. So it's your left hand that moves towards your left heel and actually not the heel but the ankle. So our final destination is the left ankle. Try to catch the left ankle with your left hand. Do -do -do -do. And of course everything, everything can move. Your head moves to the left and the shoulders move and it's, it's again it's, it's not on a, on a straight line but it's on a curve. Your head stays on the floor and, and your pelvis is up, up from the floor and be careful. And that's, that's another principle of this method is not to move into pain. So pain is something where you stop. It's like, it's like when somebody yelling is yelling at you, then that's a sign that the conversation is, should finish here. And it's the same, with, uh, at least for me, like uh, in, in my method of life, if somebody is yelling at me, then that's a sign of, oh, <laughs> there's no going there. So if there's pain, you stop and you come back and you find a different way. So we don't need to part ways and we cannot part ways with our, ourselves, obviously, but we, we just start again and it's the left hand that tries to catch the left ankle. The next movement is the right hand looking for the right ankle and catching the right ankle with the feet standing and the pelvis. So I need to wiggle a bit to, to find this movement. I need to find this movement with my chest. Of course it's a bending, a side bend in the spine. So the left, if you reach with your right hand for your right ankle, then of course the ribs on the left side need to open, the ribs on the right side need to close. And how much do you, oh this is so nice, my god. <gasps> Whew, I can breathe again. Okay. So you do this a couple of times and after, after, of course, we come we, we alternately. So with your left hand, so at any time, please bring down your, or you just come down to rest. Just let everything go and take a rest on the floor. Um, that's what I'm doing right now, but you can keep going or you could have done this earlier. <laughs> uh, Am I taking this too far? Am I, am I really talking too much this time? Is it this time? <laughs> is, it this, is it too much this time? <laughs> so with your left hand, catch your left ankle and with your right hand, uh, but one after the other, not, not, not at the same time, not in this lesson. To the left, then there's a middle, and to the right, and probably one side is easier than the other. Okay, and then if you haven't, take a short rest, and then we will do the same thing in a different relation to gravity. So we do the same thing. Um, please come to lie onto your belly in a prone position again. <clears throat> and bend both knees so that the feet are in, up in the air. That's the only way to say it. I mean, I've been thinking about this yesterday, how to say that the feet in the air, because everything is in the air, of course. I'm in the air, otherwise I couldn't breathe. And my belly is in the air, even though it's on the floor, touching the floor, my stomach, not my stomach, but the, 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 my abs, no, my t-shirt, something is touching the floor. Everything is in the air, but the, the, the feet are especially in the air, should be. And <clears throat> your head is on the ground, and with your right hand, move to catch your right ankle. And um, maybe as a constraint, don't move your don't move your feet. Don't bring your foot 
closer to your right hand, but try to bring your right hand closer to your right ankle. And it's not, don't catch the right heel and not the right toes and not the right knee, but the right ankle and side bend. And help with your left hand to, to push and your right hand reaches. And then let's do this in slow motion. That was slow motion? I don't think so. Let's try again. Okay, and then try the other side. So, with the left hand, try to catch your left ankle. And of course to the right and to the left, switch over a couple of times and then take a break on your back. All right, and then take a break, but take a break on your back. Please come to lie on your back and take a rest. Oh, this was so nice. Oh, I start to have like a new freedom in my chest. Okay, uh, let's do a reference movement. Please stand your feet again and bring up your pelvis, uh, this kind of glute bridge and uh, catch your left ankle and catch your right ankle like one after the other and see if that got improved because we're really taking our time or how it improved or what it's just so much smoother for me it's just it feels easier Let's continue. So please come to lie in a prone position on your belly again with your legs extended and your arms extended overhead. This looks something like this. And your head, head uh, your forehead resting on the floor and lift your right arm and your head together. So you lift your head and your right arm. And with your eyes, you follow, follow the right hand and, and the, the arms are spread apart. I move a bit down, so you can see me lifting.
well. So this is like the fifth or sixth times time I've been doing this in the last, and now it just floats up. My back is so much better. My back functions so much better. Just with a f like, okay, it's two weeks, like two weeks almost daily, but wow. And then of course the the uh, your hand, your head, and your left arm instead of the right one. And then alternately, once the head with the right arm and once the head with the left arm. And and think of becoming long. If you did the Getting Better Day by Day series, you, you know this feeling of <sighs> this little airplane, the little Cessna starting, the hand is the airplane, starting, 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 and then flying off. And you, you follow with your eyes, your hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Okay, and now, for me, this is like the the dough, the the gem, the important part of the lesson. Bring your attention to your right leg and lift your right leg. <clears throat> so you, you lift your right foot, your right knee, and also your right hip joint a bit off the floor, and do this in a way so. You feel that in your left arm. So it's the right leg. You're lifting the right leg and because the right leg... And, and don't let your upper body shorten. Instead, try to find a pathway, a trajectory, a way to lift your right leg so that it pushes your left arm, so that it pushes your left hand, even if it's a tiny little bit, it pushes your left hand to creep up, to slide up to slide upwards on the floor. But don't move your left hand deliberately. Don't fake it, but really try to feel that the right leg, the lifting of the right leg pushes through your spine, your chest, your torso, pushes through all you've got in the middle up to your left hand. So, so, so let's try that. And as always, please leave your, your findings if you like to share. If you feel generous enough to share your findings, share them in the comments so other people can benefit from what you discovered. So I discovered that I have to lift my right leg a little bit over the midline and actually roll onto the left side of the pelvis. And it's, it's like a pathway where the right leg moves over the left leg in the air and, and quite high up in a bow, and this pushes the left hand up. <laughs> so I don't share that in the comments because I have the video to tell you that. Uh, and please uh, try the same thing with the left leg. So lift the left leg in a way so that you can feel that the left leg, the lifting of the left leg, the curve, the trajectory, the way you lift your left leg pushes on your right, the arm, um, the, right, the right hand, the right hand creeps, slides, uh, moves up on the floor, overhead. And so we're establishing a diagonal. So that, that's the important part here. A diagonal, like a large X throughout the whole body. So the right the lifting of the right leg pushes the left hand and the lifting of the left leg pushes the right hand, right arm, right shoulder, 
right, everything, left, right, right, left, and then and do once the right leg and once the left leg, uh, and, and do that a couple of times. Oh, and another quite interesting discovery. When I lift the right leg, my left leg pushes against the floor. The left leg pushes down while the right leg comes up. I think that's something the oh, kines, kine, kinesiology, kinesiologist, they test for. Something like this, like early childhood development, uh, early childhood reflexes. But of course, when we're grown up, we, can, we should be able to control um, our legs, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> so you can um, consciously either not push down with the other leg or you can push, it's just um, one of my discoveries in this lesson, my sharing with you. So, <clears throat> take a short rest if you haven't yet. And we're moving swiftly <laughs> towards the end of the lesson. So we are working on this establishing this X throughout the body. Um, of course, what is the next step? Lift your right leg and your left arm, or you could say lift your left arm and your right leg. And there's other lessons for that. that um, uh, one lesson is called transferring the weight on the stomach. But now we're just establishing basic connections. So you lift your right leg and you lift your left arm and you feel that connection throughout the body, this, and this line we can establish here. So left arm and right leg, and then lift the right arm and left leg. And then you could do it alternately, one after the other. And think of this length and don't shorten or stiffen your neck, but it's like in dance, like a, if you are a ballerina or a famous dancer and you find this length and length is associated with elegance, being elegant. And if you took a short break, and if you didn't take a short break, and then come back to the same movement, lifting the right arm and the left leg, and then switching over to lifting the left arm and the right leg, and once to this diagonal, and then to the other diagonal. And one of the last steps in this lesson is to smoothify this a series production of lifting each diagonal and make it uh, easier and seemingly lighter and use your head, <laughs> the brain of course, but use your head to do so. So you move your, you shift your head to the right and to the left and to the right and to the left and you let everything follow and it's the head more or less on the back of your head actually, it's in the back of your head <laughs> that directs. So I lift my left arm and my right leg and the back of my head moves to the right and I'm moving more onto the right side. And then I lift my right arm and my left leg and my head is directing it. Oh, sorry. My head is directing it because the back of my head is moving to the left and then the back of my head is moving to the right. And not, let's not overdo it. Take a break on your back or on your belly. It's going to be a short break, just to warn you. 
So, but we need to do a last movement, the prime, prime time, the last movement is uh, in prone position, please come, come back onto your belly and let me guide you like this, lift your right hand and your left, your right arm and your left leg and keep them up and then join in with your left arm and your right leg and then suddenly you have both arms, your head and both legs up and then come down again. But it's different. Like usually like this Superman position, you would think of lifting both arms and lifting both legs and you would yank your lower back <laughs> into, a, into a bad place actually. But we're not doing this here. We're doing something else. We're establishing diagonals and you're lifting one diagonal and you're lifting the other diagonal and the movement is distributed throughout your whole back. It's not some a movement that's just happening in the lower back and then destroying the discs. No, 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 no. This movement is a whole body movement. Everything is involved, your neck and your shoulders and the part, the spine part in between of your shoulders and, and your your chest bone, the sternum, the sternum lifts, the manubrium lifts up and what is this, siphoid something, fortsatz, this little, this little thing lifts up and your belly, you're leaning more against your belly and you're lifting both legs, everything, feel that and do it small before you do it big, it's, you come up in an X, <laughs> in a diagonal, how amazing is that, I mean, Wow, this lesson is, is amazing. If, if you look at it like this, everything connects when you do this movement. And then after you've done this a couple of times, come to uh, take a rest on your, on your back. So we have been doing extension, we shortened the back and to, to, to finish this lesson we allow the back to lengthen so you're on your back and please catch your knees, so bring your knees over your belly, the feet off the floor and lift your head and if lifting of the head is something that doesn't feel nice you can help with your hands. So just allow yourself to, to round a little bit. You could have these nice little baby rolls or bear rolls where you move your right leg a little bit to the right and thus roll a little bit to the right or your left leg a little bit to the left, everything a little bit to the left and your head. So we establish this movement of the head that the head actually can direct the movement to the left or to the right, or a little bit forwards, or backwards. Just a little bit of flexion movements. Quite a lesson, isn't it? So, um, please come up to stand, to wrap it up. Now we already wrapped it up, just to finish. Come up to stand to see how, how you feel in standing, how you feel in walking, how you, how you feel like being up right now. Should, should be quite nice. Let's, let's try this. Hi. Yes? And yeah, so if you like the video, please leave your like, leave your comment, share, share, please share this video. And thank you for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video.